welcome to my channel. If we are just now meeting, my name is Caitlin and I love to DIY and make home decor. So if that's something that you're into, consider subscribing down below. I make a ton of cute DIY crafts as well as a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs. And now we are going on into Christmas crafting just to go ahead and get a jump start so we can start crafting and getting everything ready so we're not just super busy all of December. Uh, I feel like it's been forever since I've been on here. I've kind of been detoxing from all the fall DIYs and Halloween decor, uh, my craft room, or I don't have a real craft room, but my uh, room that I've kind of took over for crafting is completely still covered in fall, so I'm trying to box all of that up and get that put away. I've already brought out some Christmas. I posted my first Christmas DIYs on my channel uh, for the last two weeks, so make sure that you, if you have missed those videos that you go check those out. But today I am bringing you three Dollar Tree crafts that I am so proud of. I think they turned out so cute and I'm so excited to get to really decorate with these in my home. I think they are adorable and I made all of these projects for under five bucks. Before you leave today, make sure you go down in the comments and you let me know a video idea that you are wanting to see, whether that's DIY gift ideas or you enjoy watching Decorate With Me's or you enjoy DIYs inspired by a certain store like you are liking their style of Christmas decor this year, leave that down below because I will be planning out all of November's videos in the next couple weeks. I have been feeling so inspired and so creative lately and I have been working so hard uh, putting together some beautiful craft ideas for you all that I'm excited to share. So make sure you are subscribed. I have a ton of cute ideas coming out the next few weeks and you don't want to miss it. Without further ado, let's jump on into crafting. Remember to leave your video ideas down below and give this video a big thumbs up. For this first DIY, it's definitely going to be one of the easiest things that I have ever made from Dollar Tree on my channel, but also one of the most beautiful. So I'm starting by using one of these wax melters or wax warmers, and I go ahead and peel all of the labels off. And then I'm going to turn these into some cute little lanterns by adding these gorgeous little vases on top. And I think these are the perfect shape to look like those old vintage lanterns. They just work perfect for this. I made sure that I did remove the bottom labels so that they won't shine through. And then for the light in these, I'm using a couple of these LED lights. And these are battery operated and they are two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, I have been seeing packs of one for a dollar, so I think that the price did go up. You're only um, getting one for a dollar, but I still think that this is a really inexpensive craft and very fun to make. So it comes with these little flat bottoms that easily pop the candlestick in and you can glue that down. And you are still able to pop in and out that little candle piece so that you can change the batteries out as needed. To secure these down, I wanted to use some E6000 alongside some hot glue, and the hot glue just kind of holds it in place until the E6000 can dry and hold it really tightly. I go ahead and take a few seconds to make sure that this is lined up and it looks like it's straight because that wax warmer is a little bit curved so you do have to try to work with these just a second to try to get them straight before they dry. I went ahead and decorated mine but I do recommend letting them set because the top vase does want to shift around a little bit if you don't let them dry completely. But I wanted to add a little bow on the top. I chose this gorgeous vintage looking red ribbon from Walmart and they have some beautiful ribbon out right now. But I wanted to make a super simple bow so I just used a loop and then folded each of the ends in and it makes these cute little tails. And I couldn't find my jute string at the time but I usually just use a piece of jute string to tie the center. But I'm going to go ahead and use some of this gray string that I had bought from Dollar General. And then I'm hot gluing that in between the candle warmer and the vase. And then I'm using some dollar store items to glue on the front. I end up using some of those Christmas twist ties as well as some tiny little pine cones from Dollar General and then clipping off some berries.
love mixing red with all of the neutral colors for my personal Christmas decor, um, especially the style I'm going with this year. But if you are more into the neutral colors, um, you definitely can swap this bow out for just a burlap bow or more of like a plain gray or white bow. You still can see those little holes at the bottom. I don't mind them at all, but um, in the version that I made before this one, I did uh, run some nautical rope through there, so you definitely can do that if you would like to. I did go ahead and just hot glue my little candle bases down inside of these vases but I will say whenever I did pull mine back out to get the batteries it did uh, keep popping off so you can just set these down in there if you would like to but I think these turned out so adorable I literally put these together for two bucks and then just decorated them with items that I had already bought for other projects and I am just obsessed with how they look I think they are so country rustic Christmas and perfect for this year's Christmas decor Moving on to the next project, I'm going to put together a little decor piece using an 8x10 photo frame. And a lot of the times I paint uh, signs that are rectangular with the faux wood look. I paint them like white with the gray lines. But a lot of the times uh, do my Dollar Tree um, doesn't have the exact uh, rectangular or square signs that I want. So I thought it would be fun to show you how you can make this with a photo frame. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take all of the glass and contents out of my frame and then using this faux wood sheet of paper that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, which is 69 cents, but I always get mine on sale four for a dollar and I'm going to put it inside of this frame and then put the back back on. But you can see that I'm just making sure that it does fit and look right because I am going to take this right back out so that I can dry brush over the frame. I did not like how it was just a shiny black frame. It just looked cheap to me. So I wanted it to look more um, like it was had a little bit of a wood effect to it. So I'm taking just some of this old elephant colored chalk paint. Um, this was almost gone. But I'm using a large brush that's older and just trying to dry brush some streaks on there all around the edges. And I do try to go um, the same direction as the pieces are going. I got a little excited and applied too much paint to the top. So you will see that I do take a baby wipe and try to remove that and fix it. And it just takes an extra minute to give it a neat little a wood effect and then I go ahead and place my white paper back inside and close down all of the clamps. You can use any ornament that you would like for this project, especially one from Dollar Tree, but I personally am loving all of Walmart's rustic uh, farmhouse Christmas ornaments that they have out right now. And th these are so high quality for only $1.98 and I was so excited to find them and they already have all the little decorations added to them. So I'm going to be placing that on the top and then I wanted a word underneath that and this just makes a super simple decor piece. I thought that I would use one of the galvanized or shiny metal words from Dollar Tree that you can pick up in the pack um, that come with peace, believe, or joy. But I just didn't like it together so you will be seeing me switch that out. I didn't think that their bow looked very good at the top, it just kind of had got smashed so and didn't really look like a bow so I just wanted to cut it apart so it kind of looked like just ribbon like it was meant to just be glued back there for kind of a background. So I just pulled them up and uh, placed that back at the top. I go ahead and trim off the ribbon and then glue that down onto this paper. Did you ever stop and think why well, spend too much time just getting ready? I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice. I didn't think that the uh, ornament would glue very well. Like if you put hot glue on metal, it just peels off. So I thought it would be cool to kind of hook this around the back. I just hooked it around one of those prongs, but you definitely can just staple the back top of that um, so that it kind of will still dangle. And especially if that prong is in, not in the right place. 
but I like the look of it just hanging like that. And then you can see that I'm playing around with a couple words. I also tried out this little family sign that I picked up for a dollar from Hobby Lobby but I just didn't really like those words and I kind of like the word home. I just think this kind of reminds me of a little heart, like a holiday heart. And um, I just think the word home is just more kind of like a comfort word. So I picked out the Dollar Tree uh, wooden letters and I go ahead and paint them white and then I go over them with just a tiny bit of gray chalk paint. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me but this time this time also help me out by putting some of your favorite christmas words or saying down below in the comments because uh something that i can refer back to because every time that i'm trying to make a craft and i have to get on like pinterest and I end up going down a rabbit hole and spending like an hour trying to find the perfect word or sign or quote or something to put on my little signs. And I know it seems so simple, just one little word, but it literally, like I put so much thought into it. So let me know down below what are some of your favorite Christmas words or some of your favorite Christmas quotes. So I go ahead and flip this over and just hot glue this backing down to make sure that nothing's going to fall apart and that this is a solid piece. And that was how simple that this came together. I think it is so cute and it could be so customizable. You could add any ornament that you would like alongside any word. I think it looks really cute. Paired with some greenery, I got this new lantern from Walmart and I absolutely love it. So I think it definitely goes with all of my decor and I am loving these new little reindeer rustic looking ornaments and they are from Walmart as well. The last DIY that I have for you today is just a super simple one. It literally takes just a couple minutes. Um, I'm using one of these large mouth jars from Dollar Tree. I go ahead and remove the lid. And then because I did want to step up the quality of my greenery, I did go to Hobby Lobby. And this was originally $5.99, but it was half price. So I did pay $3 for this. But you would have to pay $3 at Dollar Tree to get something this full and nice. And it still wouldn't look this high quality. So that's just why I like to, um, for all of my crafts to look as nice as possible. So that's what I chose to use today. But you definitely can substitute with any that you choose. And I haven't been able to find gray buffalo check or gingham ribbon anywhere and I have looked and looked and looked. I completely forgot about it and we were walking through Hobby Lobby to get some felt for my daughter's Halloween costume and she saw this fabric setting there and it was on sale and it was only like three dollars to get a large yard of this so I thought it would be so nice to have this on hand and I would be able to use this on a ton of projects all Christmas. I personally love the gray buffalo check more than I do the black and white. I just think it has more of like a softer look to it and it goes so beautifully with all of my Christmas decor. So I just uh, measured around the jar and seen how large that I needed it and I cut it down um, the length and then I go ahead and trim a little bit of the extra little thread pieces off. And I also picked this up in like a fleece version, so I would have like a really warm little version, especially if I wanted to add some little scarves to some snowmen. I go ahead and just pull that as tight as I could to hot glue that all the way around. You hear them calling, shouting your name. Turn up the collar and walk away. Feels like you're falling. Now, I think this is the best part of this craft. I am using some of the Dollar Tree wooden stickers. And I love these little wooden stickers that they've been coming out with. I enjoyed using them throughout the fall and Halloween season. So I'm so excited to get to use them all um, of this Christmas season. I picked out two of the snowflakes. And then I'm mixing just a tiny bit of water and dark brown um, apple barrel paint together to kind of make like a watered down paint. So it would be more like a stain. I uh, want the wood, or I want you to be able to tell that these are wood. So I kind of wanted the stain effect. And I go ahead and brush that on and I think these turned out gorgeous. Um, the brown color I'm using is called Burnt Umber and it's just a really dark color. If I would have painted it with just the paint, these would have been so dark and I would not have liked them as well. But watered down, I just think it gives it a beautiful, beautiful farmhouse look. I know I did this uh, little jute string a little bit different or weird, but I double knotted it on the jar and then hot glued my snowflakes hanging off just so I would have more control of where they went. Colder, much colder. 
just a little trick or something that I always do. If I like need this snowflake to stay on this string and I don't want to stand here for five minutes waiting for my glue to harden, I dip my finger in cold water and then press the rope down inside of the hot glue and it instantly just cools it off and it will stick there. And then sometimes I do go back and add a little bit more glue over the top of that just to resecure it, but this worked really good. I love that little brown color stain or wood effect on top of my gray and white buffalo check. I think it is gorgeous and I'm so excited to try that on some more projects. So all I had to do was just bend over the bottom of stem of this greenery piece and then put it inside. You definitely could add some styrofoam, but I didn't want any green showing through the jar, so I'm just going to carefully set it up on the shelf just like this. I think it turned out beautiful. I think the uh, wooden snowflakes look perfect with the pine cones that's in this greenery piece, and I am obsessed with how this turned out. I love it. Let me know in the comments down below which one of today's projects was your favorite. I think personally I love the little red lanterns with the bow the best just because they're close to my heart. This is a project that I made on my channel whenever I first um, started doing Dollar Tree DIYs and I loved it so much then but now looking back it looks kind of plain just with a simple little burlap bow. I still think it's really pretty and um, simple looking but I love it with this uh, red bow with a little I don't know what it's called. I always say like garnishes, but I know that's not right. That's what you put on food. But the little decoration on it, but I just love how they turned out. But I do like the other projects too. I think they're really fun. But thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I had so much fun putting these projects together. And like I say, I have a ton of adorable ideas coming your way. I've already got a tiny head start on filming um, for Wednesday's video. So make sure that you do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting. Bye. Keep on shining. You're perfect as you are.